If you want to dye a fabric and you go to the dye house, before the dyeing, the company will surely perform singeing, desizing and scurrying. But what is the sizing and most of all, what is the sizing? Sizing is a process that is performed on warped yarns meant for woven fabrics. So fabrics that have warp and weft and consists in putting some oil, wax, glaze, glue or chemical to protect warped yarns. It's not performed for knitted fabrics. Why is it performed and most importantly, is it always performed? Let's see that together. Most of you might think that a weaving process is a dry process, so it does not apply any chemicals. This is far from true, especially when we talk about beams. On the weaving machine, the warp yarns are subjected to several types of action. For example, cyclic strain, flexing, abrasion at various loom parts, and intern yarn friction. Here, textile warp sizing is essential to reduce breakage of the yarn and eventually production stops on the weaving machine. With sizing, the strength of the yarn we will drastically improve and the hairiness of the yarn will decrease. But practically, what can I use to size warped yarns? Sizing agents can be glues, very strong but synthetic, so hard to remove afterwards. Natural starches and animal fats, very good since they are natural. PVA, so polyvinyl alcohol and carboxymethyl cellulose, very much used since they are water soluble and desizing requires just water, so you use less chemicals. Watch out from water soluble sizing agents because they drastically increase the BOD and the COD of the wastewaters. Biochemical and chemical oxygen demand are two parameters that, if too high, indicate difficulties in the water purification and too much oxygen demand. Sizing is performed just for sectional warping, so warp beams that are meant for woven fabrics. You take the beam, the yarns go into a bath, you grease the yarns and the yarns are ready to be charged into a loom. Sizing is not performed for fractional warping in 99% of the cases. Because these little beams are used for warp knitted fabrics, manufactured with machines that are less stressy compared to a loom. Looms have shafts and harnesses and can reach 1200 rpm, so the yarns must be greased if you want to avoid yarn breaks. These grease will be eventually removed once dyed and finished in a dye house. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email and my contacts. If you need some technical advice, I'm at disposal naturally, so yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.